What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another Diabolical Camo Challenge event video going for that Vought International Camo today on the Assault Rifles and the Rocket Launchers. For the Rocket Launchers, we need to get 40 Operator kills using a Rocket Launcher. And for the Assault Rifles, we need 50 Operator Headshots using Assault Rifles. So here's the class we're going to be using. For our AR, we're going to be using the Castoff 762. I have the Heart Piercer Pro Tuned Blueprint. I believe this is from the Zeus bundle, but I could be very wrong. Uh, it's Pro Tuned for aim down side speed, recoil steadiness, and recoil stabilization. The 762 is crazy headshot multiplier, so you know, that should help out a lot. And for our rocket launcher, we're going to be using the Joker. This is probably the easiest to get kills with especially with shipment in the game you know you just aim at a corner instant triple kill aim at a different corner instant triple kill we'll be at 40 in no time i have gold camos equipped on both the guns so we can get working on the orion mastery challenge i still need gold kills with both so with all that being said i will see you in game there's a headshot. 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 Double headshot. 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 Oh my God, another one. Ooh, baby, a triple. All right. Two more launcher kills. There's a launcher kill. I'll take that one for the team. Oh my god, there's three more! Headshot. Another one. Headshot. Headshot. There's a launcher kill. Headshot. Launch your kill. Another launch your kill. Launch your kill. Triple launch your kill.
Uh, double launcher kill. All right, here we go. We need nine more launcher kills and 11 more headshots. Eight more launcher kills and 11 more headshots. Six more launcher kills. And 10 more headshots. I'm not gonna do this whole time. There's another launcher kill. And two more launcher kills. And three more launcher kills. And that's the Vault International camo for launchers. Now let's get some headshots. Like that! Headshot. 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 Headshot, another headshot. Headshot. And there it is, the Vought International camo for the ARs. Let's go check these out in a private match. All right, now here's the Vought International camo on the cast off 762, the gun we were using in today's video. And you know, it's just like every other gun we've looked at this on. It's nothing too special, just another camo in the game. It is what it is. I'm not impressed. But here on the Joker, I don't know why the excess amount of Vought logos you can see on that screen right there. I don't know why. I just like it. I like it just a little bit more than everything else. I think it's pretty funny. But I think the real beauty in this camo, as we've seen time and time again, is how it actually shows up on the event bundles for Starlight, Homelander, and Black Noir. So let's check out all the ARs that came in those bundles. Here's the Bravado M4 blueprint. This came in the Homelander bundle, obviously, as you can tell by his face on the side of the gun and the red, white, and blue. That is the pattern on his cape. But it actually, you know, these all seem to fit really nice for some reason, almost like they came from the same event. It, it just looks good. And along with the Homelander M4, we also have the Homelander iso hemlock right here it doesn't look as clean but you can still get homelander's face made out really nice in there his uh eagle insignia is really nice in there and even on the magazine you can still see parts of it it looks really good in most areas in my opinion right here we have the a quiet package blueprint this is a chimera that came in the black noir bundle and with the Black Noir bundle, it's pretty much matte black, so this adds color to it. You can still see some of that texture along the side. Not the best, but it still is okay. Uh, here is the Iso Hemlock that came in the Starlight bundle. Probably one of the best performing because it already had a natural white to it. You can still see the star imprints throughout. The gold accent's really nice. Even the that almost translucent glowing white magazine looks really good and helps tie the bundle together. We only have two Vought International camos left to go for being the sniper rifles and the marksman rifles before we get that actual nice looking red 
diabolical camo. And if you enjoyed this event so far, if you like what you see here, drop a like down below, leave a comment, let me know how you're doing on this camo grind. How's your battle pass percentage looking? Where are you at this season with so little days left? On screen now you see our official sharpshooters group. Feel free to join up, have fun, find someone to play with, redo those raids, get some camos. Subscribe if you want to see more content, and I will see you next time.